Now, stained glass windows may be beautiful, but they're often drafty and therefore not eco-friendly. But one craftsman in Bolton has been creating windows that are as sustainable as they are stunning. Josie Darby has been to meet him. Andrew Seddon has been working with stained glass for over 25 years and has produced and restored windows in hundreds of churches and homes across the UK and beyond. How sustainable is modern stained glass window making? All the glass that you can see being cut here comes from 90% recycled glass and the lead that we use, we still use the traditional lead to, to join the windows together and that's over 90% recycled materials as well. Traditionally stained glass has, has always been made uh, as single glazed mm -hmm. but now what we can do is we can actually encapsulate this, the traditional stained glass inside a double glazed unit so it makes it like three layers with the stained glass as a centre pane uh -huh. so it makes for much better insulation. And you're going to let me have a go? If you want to have a go, you can have a go. Yeah. I can't <laughs> guarantee there'll be no waste if you do but uh, I'd love to, thank you. Yeah, that'd be brilliant. So we, we can align this carefully to the pattern on both sides and now we see whether we can cut this piece straight across here. Yeah. So we can use a straight edge okay. get that lined up. So if you want to hold the straight edge there, uh, that's right. That's great. Okay. And then start as close to the far edge as you can. Okay, we'll do. And you were able to explore Bible stories through your art? Definitely, so scripture is a, is a great basis for, for the start of a new, new design. Mm -hmm. Yay, ah, yeah, perfect. brilliant. I think you have done this before. <laughs> <laughs> it's a real family business and working alongside Andrew is his daughter Katie. She's chief glass painter and is going to show me the ropes. I have done quite a bit of painting, mm -hmm. but this is going to be very different. Yeah, glass painting is quite different. Uh, we use more of a long brush so um, we can pick up more of the paint because yeah. the paint does dry quite quickly. So you can do the trace lines and then oh, you I'm can doing the trace line. Yeah, so then you can thicken them up. Uh, oh, so I should just be doing the outsides. Yeah. So once you've done them, you can flood it by picking up quite a lot of paint and then just putting it in the middle. Oh, I like this. I know sustainability is, is important for all sorts of reasons, but for you as a Christian, it, it's also about respecting the resources on the planet. Yeah, definitely. We weren't here to, to wreck the earth, we we're here to look after it. Exactly. Um, that's what we've been, we've been tasked to do. So obviously in our work, we'd like to be able to do that as well. One of Andrew's favourite commissions is in the Manchester Diocese offices. When they built a chapel so staff could go somewhere for quiet reflection, they turned to Andrew to create the focal point. It's the first window I designed after I became a Christian in 2002. Mm -hmm. And there's this one particular part of the scripture, it says the Spirit of God hovered over the waters, yeah. uh, which was central to the creation story. So the Spirit of God has traditionally been depicted as a dove. And the day of Pentecost, the Holy Spirit was given to the disciples and it was seen as tongues of flames. So I thought that having the flames as part of that image was really central to it as well. The Right Reverend Mark Ashcroft is the Bishop of Bolton and is a fan of Andrew's window. Like St James, many of the churches in the Manchester Diocese are also going for the Eco Church Awards. When people get into it, they think, oh dear, we're going to have a stick beaten over our heads. But in fact, they're really encouraging because it makes people realise that we have gone down that journey of being eco-friendly. Um, uh, but there's still more that we can do. Um, and some of the things that we can do is particularly paying attention to uh, recycling. And that's why this window is a particularly good one for us.
Like here in London, St. James's Church chose to highlight environmental issues by hosting a model of a stag last Christmas. This was made out of recycled plastic milk bottles and designed to remind people to recycle during the festive period. In the last few years, everyone's talking about how we each need to reduce the amount of plastic polluting the world, and many Christians are going plastic-free for Lent. Grace Thomas is an assistant curate in Manchester. She and her family took up the challenge last year. What I decided was trying to reduce the amount of single-use plastic that we used. Um, so looking for packaging that was biodegradable, I thought that was probably a more manageable way of addressing it. So, in our fridge, I've gone back to using uh, plates on a lot of our, um, when, we're, when we're keeping things in the fridge, um, which is what I used to do in, when we were younger, but we got so used to using cling film. These are our beeswax wrappers, and they just mould on whatever container that you've got, so it's another alternative to cling film. And, but other things like milk, as you can see, we now only use glass bottles. We buy our vegetables loose now. We'll put them in a bag that we've taken with us and then bring them home loose and just pop them in a container until we need them. And the pasta, we did struggle to find pasta in sustainable packaging, so I thought it might be better to buy it in bulk. So I bought a big box of pasta and then just decanted them into a glass jar. So another thing we've done with our washing up liquid, instead of continually buying bottles, we want a massive bottle of washing up liquid and I just take it and get it refilled once it's empty and then we decant it again to a smaller bottle so we don't use it too much. The other big place that we were using a lot of plastic was in the bathroom. I've gone to using a shampoo bar as opposed to using the bottle shampoo. My husband now uses um, an electronic razor for example so that we've cut down on our disposable razors. For Grace, the 40-day trial has led to a year-long lifestyle change, resulting in her cutting her plastic consumption in half. It's been a really important calling for me in terms of how, how do I look after the world that God has given us. And for me as a Christian, it feels like it really is my calling to look at what I can do to minimise my impact, both on creation and on its effects on other people. Our next hymn comes from Winchester and echoes the idea of us delighting in God's creation. <laughs> 